morning everyone or afternoon or evening wherever you're at it's your girl cookie coming back with another video so let's talk about my meal planning because i'm going to show you how i meal plan now my meal plan is different from a lot of these youtubers that you see um, with my meal plan i don't have where each week is um for what meal for every week of the day i think that's is that on so you know how they have the calendar and then this is going to be what's for this day this is what's going to be for that day this is what's going to be for that day mm -mm, that, that's not your girl you, your girl don't do that now i do meal plan and i do meal plan for the number of months that i have plus what i have in the freezer and plus what i need to buy but as far as putting a pacific date for a pacific meal I do not do that just because my taste bud would change where I may have baked chicken for Monday I may change it to something quick such as spaghetti so I don't do it that strenuous but I just still want to give you some ideas just in case if you're like me and you don't like doing the whole day-to-day week-to-week meal planning then I got you so I'm gonna go ahead show you how I do my meal planning show you how I buy my groceries um, I usually try to stay up under $400 um, that's including um, vegetables and meat um, and I'm gonna tell you how I do that as well and um, yeah that's it so let's go ahead and get into this video all right guys so here we are with my meal plan for august of 2021 and so like i said my meal plan is pretty simple like i use a regular composition notebook that says monthly meal plan um nothing really big or spectacular on my meal plan and so i put down meat in house um so this gives me an idea of how much meat that i have in my house um, for this month um, so when I went into my deep freezer and the freezer in my kitchen um, I have a total of five pounds of ground beef how in the world <laughs> did I get that much ground beef accumulated sugar I could tell you um, but I have five pounds of ground beef I have three pounds I'm sorry I have five pounds of ground turkey I'm sorry I have three pounds of ground beef and I have five pounds of lead quarters um, these lead quarters right here I'm gonna put a circle or a stir about it because I do need to try to get rid of these lead quarters because I've had these for a while y'all let me let me tell you about a phobia that I have this is a no judgment zone so I just want y'all to know that don't don't judge me okay okay so um leg quarters i got these leg quarters because they were on sale it was a great great sale but the problem is i don't like to cook large pieces of meat now why i don't know but that's just my phobia and so i have been putting off putting off putting off putting off putting off cooking these leg quarters so um it is now august so this is a good time for me to start looking at meals um that is like casserole base or stew meals or soups now because it's coming into fall and so now i'm able to use these leg quarters up um so i won't have to keep hold of them and it taking up all of my deep freezer so yeah so i'm this is going to be on my meal plan for the month um and then i have beef strips for stir fry i have two packs of those um those are considered one of my quick meals for me for um dinner so this will be on this is going to definitely go on for a quick meal for the household so this is my meats that i have in my house so i know that i have cut my 400 dollar budget um down a little bit so my 400 dollar monthly budget bill the way that that work is so august is the time um that i start replenishing my meats um usually the beginning of every third to every fourth month it just depends on how you know my my meals are going um i buy a bulk of meat at the beginning of the month and the reason why i do that is because when i buy my bulk of meat at the beginning of the month those meat can hold me 
for about two to three months up to four months it just depends upon what type of meal that I'm cooking so even though I say $400 per month that $400 is just usually when I'm buying my bulks of meal but months after that I'm spending under a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars because that's why I'm just buying my replenishables such as fruit vegetables milk eggs and stuff like that but every three to possibly four months um i am buying bulk of meat now i know my meat staple in my household and this is what would vary from person to person as far as meat staples so my meat staples for me are um chicken which is whole chicken um chicken legs chicken wings chicken tenderloins um depending on if i can get chicken breast cheaper i would get chicken breast instead of tenderloin but nine out of ten um it is going to be chicken tenderloins um and put in chicken legs here so those are my meat staple um the next one is pork chops and i usually get the thin cut or thin slice or whatever's on sale pork chops i hope y'all can see that i'm sorry um ground beef and ground turkey i can hold off on ground turkey honey i got five pounds and then i got three pounds of ground beef so i can hold off on that if i need to replenish that then i will but nine out of ten um I can, I can stretch that. Um, the next one is beef tips. It is hard now for me to get beef tips. I do not know why y'all, but beef tips was like one of the cheapest meat I could buy. And here lately, like when I go to Kroger or Food Depot, I am struggling in finding some beef tips. So yeah, but if I can find beef tips, I try to buy it in a large quantity just because I know it's so hard to find it. Um, and so, but beef tip is one of my staple meats that i do buy um, another staple meat is applewood sausage because i do a lot of sheet pan sausage um with this type of sausage and these are sausage that i get from aldi they're a little bit more cheaper than kroger um, if i have to go to kroger to get it i will but i use to keep up a staple of applewood sausage or smoke link sausage um, in my freezer because it's something it's like a quick meal that i can do that won't take long um neck bones is another staple meat um and that's usually pork neck bones pork neck bones a little bit more cheaper than beef neck bones and then it's kind of hard for me to find um beef neck bones so usually pork neck bones is what you're going to see um the next one is shrimp now i know y'all was like girl how that is a staple so with us we do tacos and it would be shrimp tacos for us sometimes so that is a staple so um shrimp is one of the meats or i would use shrimp for a salad for my lunch um or i would use shrimp for a pasta my my chicken pasta sausage bacon <laughs> alfredo <laughs> um i would do a recipe on that for you guys um but shrimp is it is a staple in our household bacon is another staple um i buy pork and turkey i don't really care for pork bacon um, I prefer turkey low sodium bacon uh, just because we have so much pork you know I try to break up all that pork portion as much as possible and I try to buy more clean meat um, such as chicken um, and that's about it um, if I could find ground chicken then I would use ground chicken but if it's not then it was ground turkey so that's why you see that five pounds of ground turkey because it was on sale and um, I got a big thing of ground turkeys I think it was like a dollar ninety nine at Kroger and I was like honey let me go ahead and get it because the ground turkey is not cheap um, so bacon is a staple shrimp um, neck bones sausage or smoked sausage beef tip um, pork chops chicken i'm missing one more meat y'all and it's probably gonna pop up to me whatever the meat is i'm just gonna link it below um so yeah so these are my meat staple so what happened is i use my um 
my um, next sheet to write out what my my meal is going to be. And like I said, my meal plan is really simple. Why I put meals and I put the month and how many months is for this for this month. And I think August has 30 days. It may have 31 days. Uh, don't judge me. Just don't judge me. So I'm going to put down 8, 9, 10. Um, and then 11, 12. And y'all, I'm just going to write this and I'll probably speed, speed through this so you don't have to keep watching. So I have my meals for August. So I can go ahead and tell you now, on this month, it's going to be spaghetti, it's going to be meatloaf, it's going to be tacos, it's going to be a stir fry, um, it's going to be some type of Alfredo, there's going to be some type of soup since, you know, like I said, I have those leg quarters. Um, so that's going to be a meal. Um, what else? There's going to be some baked pork chop. There's going to be some baked chicken um, and and some type of sausage meal. So I already know what is going to be in August. So I'm just going to put it in here. Now, I'm not saying this is going to be the meal. I just know this is going to be some type of meal for the month of August. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop it in here um, and not saying, like I said, this is going to be the meal for this month or for that particular day. I just put out an idea of what I'm going to cook. So I got spaghetti, afro chocolate, sausage, meatloaf, um, beef tips and rice. Uh, beef stir fry. So Sunday basically means that this is going to most likely be a Sunday meal. Um, so yeah, hold on. that basically means that there is going to be some type of Sunday meal. And so this is pretty much my staple meals um, in my household. So now what will happen is the rest of these months, um, I would look through Pinterest or I would look at old recipes that I have and I would plug in for those rest of the month. Um, turkey or beef stroganoff. Um, so that's one of my staple meals. Um, what else do I have in mind? So I have to go through like one of my recipe books that I have because I keep a recipe binder and I will try to find that and show that on my next video but I put in a recipe binder and then I will look through Pinterest to find some meals and I will plug it in right here and so this is where my grocery bill or my grocery list come in so I would do assessment of all the meals that I have written down so say for example this is 30 days worth the meal um, so I will put in my 30 days worth of meals and then I will shop in my pantries for pasta, for Alfredo sauce, for cream cheese, for bacon, um, for everything that I need to make this my meals. And whatever I don't have, that goes onto my list as well. So I can already tell you now, I have spaghetti noodles because I bought some noodles from Sam's and honey I'm, i still got those noodles so i already know i got spaghetti noodles that i have i already have some taco seasonings i don't have to buy taco seasoning i already have some frozen um bell pepper and onions i don't have to buy that i have plenty of rice so i don't have to buy any rice um and that's by, and I have taco shells. I do have, I have two boxes of taco shells that hasn't been opened, so I don't have to buy that. Um, and I think that's it. So I already know, just looking quickly at this, I know that I don't have to buy um, those things because I already have it on hand. So then what I would do is everything that I don't have, I will put it on my phone 
Um, and I'm using my phone to record, so I can't show you that part. But I will put it on my phone of all the other essentials that I need to buy for my meal. And I will put that as my grocery list. And then I will shop off of that. And so that's pretty much how my meal plan goes. Like I said, my meal plan is really, really simple. Um, like I said, I don't have this whole, you know calendar thing and every week you know this is what we having for dinner for this week and this is what we having for dinner that week i don't do that because i know me um my tastes change on a day-to-day -day basis so say for example if i say we're gonna have chicken alfredo thursday and my taste buds said mm -mm, girl friend i want some meatloaf and if i haven't had meatloaf for that month then we have a meatloaf for that month and nine out of ten i usually don't repeat my meals um, within that 30 day time frame unless it's leftovers but I cook enough where I don't have leftovers um, leftovers are lunches for me and Mary and so yeah so um, normally when I cook I cook enough for us to have at least two servings per person and then leftovers for me and Mary to have for lunch so yeah so that is my meal plan, guys. Hopefully this will help some of you all out because I know sometimes when you're looking at um, these meal plans that be on Pinterest and those meal plans that be on YouTube, um, it can it can get overwhelming. And my thing is do what works for you. Um, if you're not, if you're like me, you're not really, you know, like schedule oriented where every day this is the meal, then, you know, do what can work for your family just make sure you stick with the meal that you wrote out for that month um so yeah so that's my meal plan um if you like this video give it a thumbs up also subscribe and click the notification to let you know when i upload another video but until then y'all i hope y'all have a great day Bye bye